Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2022, PP22, here in the wonderful Bucharest, Romania, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Sabin Shamas, who is the chair of PP22. Sabin, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for the invitation, Max. Now, good to see you again. Mm -hmm. We're finally here in Romania, PP22, an event that we've been preparing for, we've been waiting for. Uh, and back in the studio in Geneva, we talked about PP22 and how you thought it was going to be. Now we're here and it's definitely happening and, un and underway. Uh, we've got thousands of delegates uh, treading the uh, uh, esteemed halls of here, of the Palace uh, of the Parliament in Bucharest. It's the second uh, largest public building in the world. How has it compared to your expectations and, and how's your experience as chair of uh, such an important event been so far? When it comes to my country, I'm very demanding uh, and I have very high expectations. But I have to admit that uh, what my colleagues from the other institution uh, managed to prepare here for all the thousands of delegations that, that are here in Romania is beyond my expectation. So they did, a, they did a great job, an outstanding event, and you can see this in the eyes of the delegates which are here uh, in the building in every day. Uh, regarding my, my feeling as a chairman, how do I feel? We started well. We started very well the conference in a very successful manner, and this is very important because a good start is going to increase the chances of having a very successful conference here in Romania. But this is not only because of the first two days. It's because of the preparation process we had in the last year. I mean, me, my team, Romania, and all the member states that join the interregional meetings, interregional dialogue that work in different groups in, in the previous conferences we had all around the world, like WTDC or WTDA. So it's like, an, like, the, like a prize at the end of the, or, or at the, end of the, the, the road. It's, it's, it's an achievement we, we are going to have together because we worked a lot in the last year. That's why I'm very confident and that's why we had such a good start because we prepared for the start. Let's hope that the conference will stay the same and we'll, we'll have a very successful one, as I said. You mentioned the delegates. Obviously, you've been in a lot of conversations here. I wanted to find out what's the feedback been like that you've received so far? They are impressed, honestly. And uh, I'm not that surprised because we are in the biggest civilian building in the world it's, and it's a palace. It's not just a building, the biggest one, but it's a palace. Uh, I'm very lucky to have the office in this palace. Uh, and you're impressed by the, by the venue, and this is influencing the, the way that the people are, are, are behaving in the end, because the atmosphere is a very good one. Uh, they are impressed by, by how we managed to organize everything here, uh, and also about the openness of the other delegations to have a good dialogue, to have a very productive dialogue, to start the work early, to start to manage our time in a wisely manner, so we'll have the time to enjoy when it's normal in the evening, late in the evening, maybe the city, and or maybe enjoy a bit Romania in the, uh, during the weekend, which is which should be a, a normal thing during a conference. They are prepared to work hard during the night if it's needed, but we'll try to be as efficient as possible with with, with the time we have. So uh, the 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 vibe is very good, both related to how the things are organized but also with how the conference started and how much openness we can find at uh, any, any country that is present here. It's true because you mentioned uh, Romania. Quite often you go to conferences like this and all you ever see is the inside of a building. However, here we have got an amazingly massive building that people can't see here. The studio is uh, actually this incredible chandeliers here in the ceiling here and, and the, the studio has been built within these large spaces. But uh, I wanted to ask you about the ICT sector here in Romania. Do you think that the ICT sector will be affected by this conference? And if so, how? You cannot imagine how much interest raised this conference here in, in, in Bucharest. It is true that it was in, on the very last, uh, last mile, when the conference started actually. But now everybody is asking on, on the social networks, on the internet in general, how can I attend? It's not possible, unfortunately, for, for everybody, even if we organize the side event for uh, Romanian industry. That's, uh, uh, parliamentary and uh, private sector uh, forum where we'll, we are going to have a dialogue between uh, public sector and private sector with uh, international uh, 
presence, representation here. But uh, the sector in general, it's, uh, they, they started to ask, what's ITO about? Which are the opportunities? How can we engage? Uh, this is huge. We never had in Romania something like that before, not in the ITSC sector, but in general. I mean, having 193 countries represented, being represented here, okay, the president is some, somewhere above 180, if, if, I'm, if I'm right. But having such a great event in Romania, it's something that will stay in the memory of the people in Romania, not only IT and C, uh, IT and C sector for, for a long time. And I think uh, Romania itself will hopefully stay in their memories too. I'm sure that uh, they will have hopefully an opportunity to uh, explore the country now that they're here, or at least the city and, uh, and, uh, and all the wonderful things it has to offer. But uh, certainly the conversations here are extremely important and, uh, and thank you very much uh, for helping, uh, uh, helping us be here and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again at the end of the, the conference as well. Sure, and it's, it's, it's our real pleasure to have you here and we are so happy when we see how uh, confident are people about the success of this conference and how happy are, are they about and surprised about Romania and Bucharest. Sevin Charmash, the chair of the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2022, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thanks.